And now introducing Dr. Njakere Damages. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. New York? Yeah, New York City is so great that even our beggars are allowed to give tourists the middle finger. <laughs> Just after sacking 788 doctors, what? Governor Babatunde Fashola of Lagos State sacked 20 reporters covering mm. the government house. Wow. Oh, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. The official reason given was that the reporters were writing negative stories. Give me a break. No, that's not true. The true reason is that the governor has run out of money with which he bribes these reporters to write positive news. Wow. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It wasn't just the reporters. Youth coppers have not been paid. The minister in charge said that the reason for the delay was a glitch in the accounting system. Wow. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. We might as well say the truth. Nigeria is broke. Broke as a joke. All our money has gone into sewing military uniforms for President Jonathan. <laughs> 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 to show that he is not a weak sissy, the president has been wearing a lot of military uniforms lately. I've noticed. Some days as a general, some other days as a field marshal. Hmm. It all depends on how intimidating the person who is abusing the president is that day. Wow. <laughs> You'll be surprised how much such things cost in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Governor Udwara of Delta State pays 75 million naira each month what? to buy diesel to power street lights in Delta State. Mm. Nepa, nepa. In the last four years, the state has spent 3.4 billion naira wow. providing street lights. Mm. Never mind that most homes in Delta State do not have lights. Mm. For a governor who paid 700 million naira, for eggs mm -hmm. at Obasanjo's farm. Okay. This is chicken change. Wow. Some now call him James Ibori 2.0. Wow. <laughs> Although Nigeria is broke, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, is introducing 2,000 and 5,000 Naira notes. Okay. Already, Nigerians are lobbying to have the pictures of their heroes on the notes. Mm. To make the third largest ethnic group in Nigeria, the Yoruba people, happy, mm -hmm. the CBN has decided to have the picture of the first Republic Minister of Finance, Chief Francis Okotiebo, on 2,000 Naira notes. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's Okotiebo's uh, uh, end. Uh, so far, the leading contenders for the 5,000 notes are Pastor David Oyedepo what? of the Winner's Chapel. Hallelujah. And Pastor Enoch Adeboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Wow. The only problem is that you have to be dead to be on the currency. And that is where Prophet TV Joshua comes in. What? This was his reaction when he was told to predict who will die first, Oyedepo or Adeboye. You watch. <laughs> I'm sure you are saying stop this crap. Tell us the big story. Well, two Nigerian heads of states, President of Southern Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, and the president of Northern Nigeria, Malam Mohamed Buhari, what? are fighting over how bloody 2015 will be for Nigerians. Wow. Jonathan and Buhari are two different men. Yeah. One is a fake general mm -hmm. with fake mustache mm -hmm. and fake Facebook friends. Yeah. The other one is General Goodluck Jonathan. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we have a brand new segment called Wayward Pastors. Here we spotlight anointed men of God who do wayward things. Touch not my anointing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're going to touch them. Now, Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> look at this billboard posted in Lagos by Pastor Dr. Sign Fireman, the general overseer of the Perfect Christian Mission. The sign says, all hot girls attend Pastor Fireman's church except you. Hmm. Isn't that beautiful? You want to attend a hot church, don't you? Especially when the pastor is a hot fireman. Oh, yeah. If it becomes too hot, he will personally jump in and quench the fire with a splash of his holy juice. Holy Ghost! <laughs> what could be more reassuring? I don't think anything else. But then, when you go down to the fine print, it says, please come with your own condoms. What? We only provide the spring beds and enough Vaseline. Go, go figure. Wow. <laughs> Now, 
you see why we call him Wayward Pastor. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In health news, the FDA just approved a new drug to prevent HIV in healthy people. Mm. The problem is that it costs $900 a month. Too bad. That is more money than it costs to fix the Ziani Allison mother case $20,000 handbag. Yeah, right? Anyway, welcome back to playing soccer without boots. That is if you are as rich as Ndoka or Baibuna. Mm -hmm. The rest of you, nothing changes. So a lawmaker in Kenya has proposed a cheaper alternative to the drugs. Mm -hmm. He wants women to shave their heads. The prominent member of parliament believes that if women became less attractive, mm -hmm. men will be able to control the thing between their legs that has one eye, no yeah, bones, right. but yet causes so much trouble. Yeah. I have a better idea. Why not cut the entire thing off? Exactly. <laughs> in a related story, a 70-year-old virgin in Manchester, England, just announced that she's ready for love. Let me see. A 70-year-old car that has not been driven, mm -hmm. zero mileage. Okay. What is its book value? Does it maintain its value as it ages? I'm just asking. Anyway, at 70 years of age, will you recommend that this woman start with her emotionally aged mates, like 16-year-old boys? Or should she go for certified veterans like Olusegun Obasanjo? Wow. I'm, I'm inclined to vote for Olusegun Obasanjo. Me at, too. At, at least, at least that will provide a relief to Obasanjo's daughters in law. Oh my gosh, that's not good. As one of President Jonathan's transformational agenda, he has increased the retirement age of university professors okay. from 65 to 70 years. Wow. My head of department, who on entering the civil service reduced his age by 15 years, will now retire at the ripe age of 85. Mm. Unless, unless, unless he dies on top of a female student. Mm. In an unlikely Yahoo news, the CEO of Yahoo was fired this week for padding his CV. For real? Oh yeah, the man claimed that he received a degree in accounting and computer science when he only had a degree in accounting. Idiot. The lie was discovered when a Yahoo staff Googled the CEO's name. Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, a group of Nigerian Yahoo shareholders are leading a campaign to bring the CEO back to his post. Mm. They call the campaign Nothing Spoil Campaign. The leaders of this group are Dr. Bola Tinubu, wow. Dr. Ndiyo Kerekonyoke, really? Dr. Abdullahi Diko, For real? Dr. Gabriel Sunswan okay. of Benue State, Dr. Andy Uba, Dr. Uh -huh. Oju Zokalo, uh -huh. Dr. Sign Fireman, wow. and other veterans of Certificate Forgery Institute. Mm -hmm. So far, over 10,000 Nigerians have signed the petition. Wow. This week, Bamanda Tuka, the PDP national chairman, informed Nigerians that Boko Haram is fighting for justice. Hmm. I don't get it. Me either. If that is true, then I am doing this show just to make you laugh. Wow. Last week, we made fun of the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, yeah. for issuing the very last final warning to Boko Haram. Final warning. To prove to us that they were serious, they issued this picture to the press. This pastor with his AK-47 is ready to fight back. Mm. He's not taking it anymore. Obviously, the man of God has said to himself, to hell with the question, what will Christ do? <laughs> I understand that rich pastors like Pastor David Oyedebo are in the process of buying one or two drones from America. <laughs> it's gonna be Mombostico Mombosco. <laughs> Finally, some good news from Northern Nigeria. Kanu State this week conducted its first mass marriage. What? It involved 100 widows and divorcees. You don't say. Oh yeah, the Emir of Kanu supervised the event. They even paid part of the dowries for men who could not afford it. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Smart move, if you ask me. Smart move. Smart move. No wonder Boko Haram activities in Kanu State are minimal. Yeah. When you give young men with boiling blood women, mm -hmm. especially women who can take them to heaven every night, these men think less of blowing themselves up for the wow. promise of women in heaven. Thank God. <laughs> Still on marriages. The Nigerian police will now allow its female officers to marry without first obtaining permission from the police authority. It's about time! 
<laughs> yeah, the law looks so ancient and anti-women. Yeah. But it's not. It's not. It was actually well thought out. Mm -hmm. The reason why it was put in place was to make sure these police women do not fall in love with dirty pot belly men mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. ruin the prestige of the Nigerian police force Got by right. by dating the police barrack. <laughs> And I'll leave you with this story. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of differences between white people and the rest of us. Last week, Time magazine published on its cover page a picture of a woman breastfeeding mm -hmm. her six-year-old son. Yeah. It caused outrage in the West. But public breastfeeding is a natural part of Africa's landscape. Yeah. It's, it's organic. <laughs> we make no trouble about that. Not long ago, former President Olusegun Obasanjo publicly took President Goodluck Jonathan's mouth off his breast. <laughs> he didn't win him off. He just took the breast off the, the mouth off his breast. Wow. <laughs> that was how we ended up in this traffic jam. <laughs> we know they go forward, we know they go backwards. Mm. That's not right, OBJ. That's wow. not right, OBJ. That's not right. That's not right. Until next week, I am Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You